the 80 to 100 year olds right now. And then the boomers are that 50 to 80 range. Hold on a second. Calling people in their 50s boomers might just spark a rebellion. Quick fact check for you. The silent gen roster is more like a cozy 19 million, not 44. And those boomers you speak of, they're clocking in at 60 to 78, thank you very much. They also have enough of their own numbers. They don't need to go borrowing from us. Who is us, you might ask? Oh, you know, just 20% of the population. 100% most likely to be overlooked. The Jan Brady of generations. The original fuck around and find out gang. Yeah, Gen X. We're not quite ready for bingo and knitting club just yet for us retirement is not a destination it's a myth kind of like affordable housing or job security besides we're not looking for traditional retirement living forget those whisper quiet villages with a strict bedtime we like things bigger louder and with a whole lot more flair we're plotting a retirement that swaps bingo for dance parties pottery classes for tattoo sessions by the pool we're thinking more like taking abandoned malls and turning them into state-of-the-art geriatric playgrounds with arcades and nightclubs echoing with our favorite music in the background and pool parties where the drinks flow as freely as our memories of mixtapes and mtv this is our call to arms gen x if we pool our resources we could start a retirement revolution i see this as the perfect investment opportunity for us why not invest in our own future the young people can thank us later think less shady pines and more coachella with better facilities and pharmaceuticals we band together it's looking like a cooler future for us because when it's time for us to trade in our band tees for bathrobes and non-skid footies you better believe we'll be doing it poolside with a drink in our hand we're planning a retirement that won't be forgotten like the rest of our generation